Welcome to another bonus episode of Capes in Tights, pop culture and comic book podcast hosted by myself, Justin Soderberg, and co-hosted by my good friend, Adam Morissette. But on these best special bonus episodes, it's just myself, Justin, today, talking top 10 comic book covers by the great artist, Michael Del Mundo. Before we get started, these episodes should come out once a month, hopefully, and we'll continue with comic book artists and talking about top 10 covers. We'll move into other options and series and different things as we get going on when I have more time, effort, and energy to put these things out here for you guys. But I hope this one is great for you to know and get down there. My top 10 favorite comic book covers from Michael Del Mundo. You can subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, like and share all that stuff too. At Capes and Tights Podcast. On Twitter, Capes Tights Pod. You can find us on YouTube. You can also visit us at capesandtights.com. But subscribe and follow on Apple and Spotify for the audio versions of this podcast. But today I recommend that if you are listening to this in your car or at work or so on, that maybe you switch over to watching it on YouTube or on our website, capesandtights.com, because we are going to show the visual pictures of each cover as I speak about them quickly. Uh, this episode should be no longer than 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it might be worth watching. If not, I'll try to explain the covers, what they look like and so on but you know with comic book covers and with michael del mundo visually seeing them is worth it so if you don't have an opportunity to watch the video online at least look up these covers when you get a chance because they're worth looking at for sure and even worth collecting so let's get started i'll do my 10 top 10 again they're not really top 10 the top two are really up there for me as the top two but the rest of them are just the 10 best covers i think he has uh, out there and those things can change over time because he is an excellent artist and doing great things so you can follow him on Instagram, by the way, at Deadly Mike. So here we go. The first comic book on this list is the 2014 Electra number two. Uh, Electra's on the front cover uh, and, and dancing uh, ish thing and spinning around, and she has blood splatter all around her, swirling her. Uh, it's a very flat design, very simple colors. Love the cover. Well, well, well done, Michael Domingo. Uh The next one on my list is Untold Tales of Punisher Max number five. Uh, it's from 2012. Uh, there's a kid with two squirt guns on the cover with a light shining back of him against a white brick wall where Punisher is having the outline of Punisher behind him and has Punisher's skull on the front of it with a machine gun. So it's like the squirt guns are being reflected into Punisher. Kid being reflected into adult Punisher. Squirt guns are reflected into uh, the actual guns. Pretty badass cover. Very simple but, but, but meaningful from Michael Del Mundo. Uh, the next one is Superior Spider-Man number 33 is a variant cover by Michael Del Mundo. Uh, it's from 2014. Spider-Man's crouching up on the top corner doing his normal Spider-Man pose. But the reflection down to you, another reflection cover, is all made up of the different hoods or, or masks that Spider-Man wears over the years, which is kind of cool. So you can pick out which ones are which, you know, Spider-Man 2099, Miles Morales, and all that stuff. All that comes down uh, in front of them too. Again, simple design, but amazing uh, execution for sure. X-Men legacy number 11 is the next one on the list. That is from 2013. It's an amazing cover with a pill being broken open and all the small beads that are in those pills, making up a skull in the middle of it on the front cover. Very, very eye catching and drawing you in. It makes you like step back and look at it from a distance and go, what's going on here and, and seeing the big picture. Uh, great cover from Michael Del Mundo. So that was the top bottom four and as we're going in now we're in the uh, bottom five i should say but again these are all not in any specific order except for the top two are basically my top two venom number two from 2018 it's a variant cover that was done by mike uh it's venom hanging upside down hanging like he normally would like you'd see spider-man hanging or venom and hanging venom hanging uh, from his webbing or from the symbiote this is actually his tongue it's wrapped around him like the webbing would be and but it's uh going hanging up from there and he's actually hanging from his own tongue very, very thoughtful and, and, and out of the box thinking for Del, Del Mundo to do this cover. I love it personally. Again, it's a very simple white background. Venom's right there. I love the cover. So that's number uh, number five. It should be the fifth one on my list. Before I get into the top, you know, top five, I should say, or again, not really, but the five last ones. Um, Del Mundo has this ability to make us think really, really, really hard about these covers. There's a lot of thought for him that goes into it, but it seems like it's simple and easy to him because the, the, the ideas that he puts across on these covers are fascinating as all hell. And if you have to get into the other five that I have on this list, you'll see that he has this ability to just make you go, hmm, wow, that's deep or that's thoughtful or so on. So it's definitely a, a skill of Michael Del Mundo to be able to do this. 
and I'm loving it. And that's why I collect a lot of his covers. I collect series that I don't even read the actual book. I just want to have the cover to display on the wall or to show off or whatnot. So it's fascinating what he can do with comic book covers for sure. He's also a great artist for interiors, dude. He's in a couple of interiors as well, but mainly comic book cover artist. He's been nominated multiple times and won an award for his comic book cover art. So next five. Venom number 17 from 2011. This features bullet shells flying off of a bullet uh, of a gun that have reflections of faces in them. Again, a very deep thought provoking uh, uh, cover. Very simple, but like the idea that you would actually put someone's reflection in a, in a, in a um, bullet shell is unbelievable. Electra number three from 2014. Electra's diving into the water and underwater as she's dives, she's these trenches. And K's make up the outline and visual aspect of a Psy, uh, obviously the weapon of Electra. And she's diving right down the middle of it. But if, again, if you stand back and look at it from a distance, you just look from, from a comic book shelf, it just looks like a Psy on the, on, the, on, the, on the wall. But as you get closer and look at it, you realize it's underwater and it's making up a bigger picture uh, design on the cover. Last three. Carnage number nine from 2016. This cover is in red, white, and black pretty much. There's a little bit of blue on it. It's very, very, very simple. I love having very little number of colors in a cover. Very flat, but you still get the context and texture to it. The head of Carnage is actually coming out of the water. The water's making up Carnage's head. And there's a boat, a ship on Carnage's tongue, like he's going to eat and devour the ship. What a great design. Very, very flowing water, and you can tell it's Carnage. But again, from a distance, you're like, oh, it's Carnage's head. As you get closer, you realize he is the water himself as well. Great cover uh, from 2016 from Michael Del Mundo. So my top two are basically 1A and 1B. Uh, I, I put the top one as my number one because it is one of my favorite covers of all time. The number two I'm about to say is also becoming slowly becoming one of my favorite covers of all time. But number one is it has been on lists that I've done with other friends and in, 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 in the podcast and so on. So it had to be number one. So number two on this list, again, these are the only ones that I feel like are up the top. The rest of the other eight are just great covers is Darth Vader number one from 2015. It's a variant cover that he did. That has Anakin Skywalker stands in what appears to be a jail cell. It actually is Darth Vader, his future, his mask. And it's the breathing part of his mask, the, 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 the great part at the very bottom of, of, uh, of his helmet, uh, Darth Vader's helmet. So Anakin standing back there looking very sad. And, and, and the visual is that he's in prison by his own future. So it's insane that the thought pro provoking it brings and, and the, the simpleness of the cover, but how awesome the cover is. That's Darth Vader number one, variant cover for 2015. And my number one, Michael Del Mundo cover. And if anybody's listened to old iterations of the podcast before we, we split off into Capes and Types back when we were just part of the Main State of Mind podcast, you'd know that my top 10 covers, one of them is Carnage number one from 2016. Uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing cover. It's the mouth of carnage in the front with the symbiote just flailing all around him. The eyes are there and it, there's a mine shaft train tracks coming out of his mouth. Like it's his tongue and the inside of his mouth. There's a light mine, like a light at the top and the back, uh, that would be inside of his mouth. It's just a, a beautiful cover. It's got browns and reds and greens and, 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 and darker color, colors on the cover. Unbelievable. It's one of my favorite covers of all time. I, I've contemplated actually getting it as a piece of artwork on my arm as a tattoo. I just love the cover. I always will. I have multiple copies of it because I love it so much. So, uh, and let's be honest, Carnage number one is my favorite cover out of Michael Del Mundo of all time. In the top 10, I had two Carnages and two Electras. Anything from 2014's run that has Michael Del Mundo's cover on it, it's an amazing Electra cover. And the same thing with Michael Del Mundo's 2016 run of Carnage. Any Carnage cover on that series that Michael Del Mundo did, did, uh, does is amazing. So check all of those out. So that's my top 10 Michael Del Mundo covers. I don't know if I could say Michael Del Mundo any more on this podcast, but I, I, I really appreciate his art. I love what he does. I hope he continues doing it and does more outside the box thinking and big picture uh, uh, designs for us to look at as we go to read our comic books. We actually just visually look at our comic books because let's be honest, we look at them more than we read them. And I'm excited to see more from Michael Del Mundo. So that's our top 10. Hopefully you guys check out us again, uh, us out again, doing another top 10 comic book covers of all time. We're excited to do it. I'll be here regularly. Check us out weekly on Wednesdays, Apple and Spotify. We release podcasts every week that are comic book or pop culture related. And check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Capes and Tights Podcast. 
and check us out on capesandtights.com. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe on Apple and Spotify if you can and love the podcast. So again, appreciate you all. Keep up the good work. Visit us at capesandtights.com. I'm Justin Soderberg, your host for our top 10 Michael Del Mundo covers. Check us out again. Thanks, guys. Peace.